The Tory Brexiteer urged peers to abstain from supporting an amendment to the Brexit bill that could see the piece of EU legislation maintained after withdrawal. Lord Shinkwin also voiced concerns about the possible future influence of the European Court of Justice Edge could have on Britain through its judgments. He told members of the House of Lords, We do not need this charter. We in this great British Parliament set the benchmark for human rights. That was not done by the European Union, and certainly not by the Edge, whose judgments, as we have already heard, are informed by the centrifugal force of everything that emanates from the rejected you political project of an ever closer Union Parliament TV get to Brexit news. Lord Shinkwin urged peers to abide by the will of the people. Lord Shinkwin called on fellow peers to respect the will of the people demanding control be returned to Parliament after Brexit. He continued, we need to reflect the simple fact that the people have spoken, and they have chosen, by a clear majority, to leave the EU, and to take back control of our laws. The UK is their country, not ours. The UK Parliament is theirs, not ours. We may have been their masters once, we are not now, we are their servants. They are the masters, and they have spoken in the once-in-a-generation referendum. We are their servants. They are the masters, and they have spoken Lord Shinkwin Cross Bench Peer Lord Panic Table the amendment to the withdrawal bill to transfer the EU Charter, a text incorporating European political, civic, economic and social rights, into British law. He claimed excluding the measure would conflict with the Brexit bill's aim of transferring Brussels legislation into British law to ensure a smooth exit from the bloc. A spokesman for the Department for Exiting the EU said, We are disappointed that the House of Lords has voted for this amendment in spite of the assurances we have provided. The Charter of Fundamental Rights was never the source of rights in the UK. It simply reaffirmed rights that already existed in EU law and the EU withdrawal bill will convert this EU law into UK law. The reverse follows two previous Lords defeats for the government last week on the Brexit legislation.